hello and welcome back just before we get our hands dirty i want to take you through a brief overview of visual studio code this is important because this is the ide that you're going to be using all through the practicals of this unit data structures and algorithm so in this video i'm going to take less than 10 minutes to take you around uh, the user interface of visual studio code we're also going to create a project i'm going to show you how to install a python extension we're going to create a file we're going to run the file save the file and while at it i'm going to share with you useful keyboard shortcuts that are going to make your coding experience super fast and very exciting so let's dive in so we begin by looking at the visual code user interface the really interesting one so at the very top just like many applications we have a top menu bar then on the side we have what we call an activity bar then at the very bottom we have what we call a status bar then normally we will write our uh, code in this area here which i've just covered there and then at this particular uh, point we have what we call a, uh, a sidebar so this is a sidebar and at the bottom here we might have what we call a, a, a terminal or output an output uh, window or a terminal window so uh, let me just uh, repeat that again so this is called a sidebar so this is a sidebar and then here we have an activity activity bar then at the very bottom here we have a status bar status bar and then here we have uh, let me just call it a terminal window it has terminal it also has output then this window here this is the main area uh, so we write code here where we write our code eh? uh, the ones I've marked with green means that we can be able we can be able to uh, hide or show them so like the sidebar we can be able to hide or show them an important uh, lifesaver keyboard shortcut for that is control b and similarly we can be able to to show or unhide the terminal window by using the keyboard shortcut control plus uh, that particular symbol the tiled symbol so we can be able to do that now uh, on the activity bar on the left there we have what you call here the file explorer so if you want to see the files in your project the folders in your project you click on that and it will open the sidebar you use this for searching as you might have already guessed so if you want to search for your files and folders then you do that then this one is for git and github so if you want to do git and github uh, github version and version control using that and then you can do that and then if you want to run your code or debug your code then you click on that so run and also debug debug your code uh, and then this one is also very important here so this is where you get the extensions so visual studio code is not complete by itself so it depends on important extensions like the one we are going to install for python uh, in order to be able to offer you more functionalities then on the status bar at the left bottom left of this window we have two uh, things here that are important to note so this one shows you the number of errors that you have in your code so and uh, just beside it you get the number the number uh, of uh, warnings that you have on your code so that's just about it about this so let's dive in and create our first project okay so to create a new project you can click here on open a folder or you can click here on the file explorer or you can simply do control b 
so that we can open the sidebar and you see here you can still be able to open a folder alternatively you can go to file on the top menu and then click on add folder to workspace so once you're there you can navigate for example to the documents then you can create a new folder here and maybe you can call it data structures and algorithms like that then once you have it you can click add so when you click add you're just going to click yes there yes we trust it and now you can see that the name of our uh, folder appears there so now we can create files in these folders so that's the next thing we're going to do how to create a file you can click on this icon here on the uh, file explorer so this add or you can simply do control n uh, to add a file to your uh, your your project so i just select everything here uh, or for example i can just print uh, print then uh, i can print for example just a line i want to print just a line like that okay then if i want to i can be able to change uh, the name of this particular file by pressing ctrl s in order to save my file so it should be able to open up uh, where that particular project is supposed to go so i had actually navigated to a different folder so i'll just open up that particular folder and for saving files we have to give it a name for example this is uh, let's say hello then we have to use the dot pi extension so pi like that then we can click on save so once we've done that i want you to notice something on the status bar down here on the top right corner so it actually detects which language you're using so now you can see that it's actually python and it also appears under the folder on your file explorer so that is actually what happens now for example if i want to do print again you see that i have an auto suggestion this is a feature in uh, visual studio that is called intellisense and if you're not able to see this uh, then it means that you've not installed the python extension so that is how you know so at this point let's install the extension how do you do that on the activity bar here we have uh, we have this place where you can be able to install different extensions into python so you can just click on it or do Control shift x and when you open it there's a search bar so for example you can just search python when you search python it should bring you python extensions my internet might be a bit slow okay so here here i go so we have the python extension here uh, specifically this extension has been done by microsoft so make sure it's the one so just click on install uh so mine is already installed that's why i don't have it so this will give you intellisense what you are, what i mentioned that is auto completion of code it will also give you linting linting is error detection if you uh, do a mistake then it will be able to uh, for example this print if i add something it will be able to underline it with a wavy line so that is what we call linting so that is the extensions that's how you install extensions so i'll just go back to file explorer click on that and then come back to my code Control z to undo so that's how you undo uh, uh, any changes that you've done. I want a similar line of code, uh, the same line of code. So I want to duplicate it. You don't have to select copy and paste. You can just do shift alt and down arrow. And that will immediately uh, open up uh, or duplicate that line. So again, that is shift alt and down arrow. And to move this... Uh, let me just uh, do that again shift down and to move this line number two for example to go to number three i can do alt and down arrow just alt and down arrow alone and that will take this line 
to the next line so if you want to quickly move lines you can just select them for example and do alt down arrow and it should be able to take it down okay so here i just want to print again use intellisense so i can always do tab to auto complete or enter then i can print the usual hello world hello world like that uh -huh. so once we have that we can uh, uh, save our work before we run it so uh, how you know that you've not saved your work is if you have this here so you can save your work by pressing ctrl s on your keyboard or you can simply go to file then you can click save but alternatively if you do not want to click save all the time or do control s all the time you can choose this option auto save and anything you add on your code will be automatically saved again you know that you've not saved your code if you have this symbol here so see what happens if i do control s on my keyboard that disappears now because i've saved my work how do you run your code on uh, vs code you can right click inside the file and click on uh, uh, run where is it where is it okay yes uh, run python then run python file in terminal so you can just click on that or you can click here on this play button uh, in order to do it and the keyboard shortcut for these is actually f5 so you can just press f5 on your keyboard so i'm just going to jump in and do f5 on my keyboard uh, okay that seems to be giving me something else so i'll just click on display okay so when that happens then this is the window that i was telling you about uh, this is the window that I was telling you about. So it comes with an area that will give you any problems that are in your code and also any output and also a built-in terminal. So right now we are in terminal. You know that you are in terminal because it has been underlined. And this is the output of our code. So we can see. So we have successfully run uh, our first Python file. So uh, that is how we do it. The VS Code window is also very flexible, so you can be able, for example, to bring your mouse cursor just above the terminal window, and when it turns into a double-headed arrow, you can be able to drag it down or up, depending on how much you want to see. Similarly, you can also do the same to the sidebar. Uh, so I just extended mine. And something interesting, you can also use Control Plus to zoom in to your Python code or control minus to zoom out uh, so that's that's how you can do that you can also quickly run your code by typing this on the terminal down here so you can just type python then the name of the file for example ours is python.py then when you press enter it's going to run that code another interesting skill for you to have is uh, learning how to debug your code so in debugging your code, you just want to, for example, step through each line of code or even stop at some point. To, so to stop at some point in execution of your code, you can click on just beside the number of the code that you want to stop at. For example, you want to stop at line two. So you can do that. Then you can go ahead and click on this particular, uh, this particular icon on the side uh, on the activity bar so that then you click on run and debug so once you do that if you can watch the terminal here so right now it has just printed line number one because we told it to stop at line number two so we can stop we can step through the code you can see that we have a pointer here and also a red dot red dot meaning that is where we stopped at and the pointer meaning that is where we are so to go and execute now line number two we can simply come up here on the top menu where we have these icons and we can be able to click on this particular icon step over in order to execute line number two so as i click it look at the terminal and boom now we are printing hello world and also the arrow has moved to the next line and if i click on that again it 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 now completes so the debugger is very important in helping you to stop 
uh, uh, executing your code at a particular point so that you can examine uh, each line of code step by step and try and find the error that you have so ladies and gentlemen thank you much uh, so much for your time uh, that is the end of this i know we've gone a bit over the 10 minutes that i had promised by but i hope you've had valuable information from this so see you in the next video where we are going to implement some recursion challenges bye